Hey guys, I saw this great post, um, Majid, uh, put some images in here. So we've got images from LOD 100 through 200, 300, 400, etc. I just saved them to the browser and then let me throw them in a project. So if we go to a scope and instead of using the library of all of these fantastic building systems and elements, etc., we're going to close this off and we're going to create our own. And this is going to be uh, called window. And we're going to use the integrated BSDD window uh, panels, something like that. Maybe not. Uh, this will also bring in the classification code. Uh, we can have an entity type in here for the window, IFC window. But what we're really interested in doing is showing geometry for these levels. And if we click on the three dots and hit the edit button, inside of here, we can now start to have symbolic geometry. And I could use this just to clip out. I'm not going to show the 100 crop. I think that's good enough. And then the generic, we're going to use this 200. So I'm just going to crop it. Sometimes you, we use this crop and remove background because what it does is it isolates the geometry and really nicely um, makes it into uh, an image that fits nicely on this screen and, um, and also takes away the background. But this is not needed in these cases. Oh, I hit remove it, move background. So you can get the idea. Oops, let me do that. I'm going to hit crop or 400 for fabrication. And I'm going to do this and then hit crop. So now we've got these four geometry levels in here and we can click between them really nicely, really easily, quickly and understand that. And then when we print this off, so if we were to have different milestones with um, different geometry. So let's go back to 100, 200, 300, 4, 350, let's go 400. Now we can also use this in our exports automatically. So if we create an export and create a grid, let me add the details print as well. Um, this will create us a nice PDF that shows the geometry progressing, but also it will show us these window panels as we have expected with LOD 100, LOD 200, LOD 300, and LOD 400. So obviously there's a, a lot of out-of-the-box content inside of Planoly. Uh, the windows, for example, we to search for. So you can see we've got a whole bunch of windows in here and all the pieces and components. And if we wanted to add these, but you can also add your own. So if you wanted to show this in a different way and identify what that might look like as an LOD, you can do it in a couple of different ways. So I thought, thanks to the post from Majid. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, hopefully that's useful. Then we could even add some more detail to it. So if we wanted to add a conceptual and say that that's what this was, let's describe something, we can save that. Can assign it to somebody, sign it to a team, team member, add information, add checklist items, uh, add a milestone, add dates, start defining when it needs to be done, et cetera, et cetera. And then obviously check for compliance in the verify module. Yeah, pretty cool.